everybody welcome to card number three of september's card class um, if you're not following on at home um, do remember to like share and comment on this video and also to subscribe to my channel you'll get notifications of future videos when i put them on so for card number three this is very much a typical style card for me i love this sort of card design I love how you can use the DSP together and it's just a really, really nice way of using not a lot of DSP on your cards. So to get us started, we've got a tent fold card base and I've used Mossy Meadow cardstock for this. So give that a nice little score. Now we're going to put that card base to one side and we're going to work on building up our background. So I've got a piece of craft card and I've gone ahead and already cut my pieces of designer series paper. The measurement for this is over in your measurement guide. Um, if you would like to purchase the measurement guide, you can do so for a small fee um, and that's available worldwide. So I'm just putting those onto my card. I'm leaving a nice border around the edge so we can really see that lovely craft card showing through and this is a tried and tested card design over and over and over again if ever you're starting out on a set of cards you're not really sure where to start this is my go-to card design so we've done that now what we need to do next is we need to tie our linen thread around and i've actually tied this round i've doubled it over Okay, so you might end up using all of your linen thread in your kit. Let's have a go. So you use quite a lot of linen thread this way, but that's what it's there for, isn't it? It's there to be used. So let's just trim off my excess. And if ever you think linen thread is too curly, just run it through your finger, between your finger and your thumb and it all of a sudden it flattens out a bit okay so we're going to tie this around our card and we want to make sure these two ends are roughly the same length which they are actually so hold it together hold it around the middle turn it over just put something weighty on it to start off with to hold it in place and then take a piece of tear and tape take off your weight and just secure it on the back so that isn't going to go anywhere you can secure it on the front as well because we're going to cover up that middle space and what this does is it just helps you tie a really nice bow or you can leave it free add all your detail in and then tie your bow around it which is actually what I'm going to do okay so now we've done that we can transfer it to our card front and I'm going to stick this down with some wet glue. Like so. Now I've just realised I haven't cut myself a little banner, so let me do that now. going to use this nice little die here so let's just cut one of those out okay so there we have our little banner and I'm going to stamp on that banner using black ink. Perfect. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a selection of these, and these are the ones that are on the edge. I'm actually going to attach them to the underneath of my banner okay and i'm going to do this with a little bit of tear and tape so 
So that's my first one. And then I've got a second one. And I've done the same as I've done with the first card. I'm sticking this piece on first. Now we've done that, we can attach this to our card with some dimensionals. And I'm not putting too many on because we've got some pieces that we want to try and slide under. So that's going on there like so. And then now I'm going to take some of my off cut pieces and try and just slot them in. going to snip this little bit off that's better and this just fills up some of our gaps okay. so I've got this one here and I'm just going to snip it in half and I'm going to add this under as well I love this layering technique. It makes the card look so much richer by adding in all of that. Okay, so now we've done that, I'm gonna take my linen thread and attempt to tie a really nice bow. And I quite like that. So now let's just trim off our ends like so. And then I've got a couple of little rhinestones to add for a little bit of sparkle. I'm going to add quite a few actually. so and I really really like that because so what I love about using the two pieces together is you get a lot of detail in that bow and then as we open up our card we're just going to finish it all off by adding our white layer and that's it that is card number three all made I hope you like it do share your finished card designs back with me. Um, you can tag me on social media or you can just send them to me in a message. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please do get in touch and I will see you all over on the next video. Bye for now.